Have you ever been inside a hobby shop and you saw this totally rad bodacious model car and you wanted to know what was in that box before you bought it? Today I'm going to show you this amazing testers three car set. However, I'm not going to do all three cars in this video. I'm going to do one at a time for the next three videos. And if you can survive to the end of this video, I'm going to show you a really bodacious looking model car kit that you might want to see next. Quit all that jive talking, Trevor. Let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. Now this week we go back in black where we get to check out the Corvette Turbo version from Testers. Now since we don't have a individual box to open up and pull the parts out, I just thought I would put all the parts out here and just show you quickly what they are. Here we have the Corvette body. Now this would be molded in high impact shiny black. However, I did start to work on this so I just sanded it all down. So it does look a little bit rough, but we'll get into that in a minute. There we've got our Corvette hood, our front clip, and our back clip. And then we've got this nice parts tree with our interior bucket in there, the special turbo motor, the rear axle and our seats and tires. Again, very nice stuff. Again, no chrome in this kit, but we do have this nice aluminum part tree. And then we've got our undercarriage and our tires sitting on here and our T-tops and rear view mirrors. And these parts held those front bumper bits. And then we've got our nice glass. So let Danny the dog now tell you about the instructions. So here we have some pretty bodacious instructions with our Corvette Turbo right here. To begin with, we've got our wheels, so there they go into the tires with those nice wheel backs. Now this is a fairly simplistic snap tight kit, much like the one from last week. So here we have the front suspension dropping right into place. We've got a plastic axle with our wheels going in. And then in the back, we've got the Corvette rear axle dropping into place right over top of that same plastic axle with our wheels going up. Our interior panel is quite nice and quite simple. You've got the nice bucket right there with the shift lever dropping in. And then we have our bucket seats and our nice Corvette dashboard and the Corvette steering wheel. Panel 5 shows our really awesome turbo engine going in there. This thing is huge and takes up the whole engine bay. You're going to have to do some research on it because it's not like a V8, of course. Then our clear glass pops up underneath from the car, and then our interior tub will go and join it. Panel 6 shows our assembled body and engine bay dropping right onto the chassis, and then you push that front clip right into those little holes there. Panel 7 shows our hood going into place. This one goes in much like the uh, monogram type hoods with the two little holes on each side, so be careful there. There's our side mirrors and our T-tops. Panel 8 shows the rear bumper being pushed into place with our four red Corvette tail lamps going on and then our license plate. And here it says to cut out plate and glue on part number 25. These say Iowa Turbo 1. Then once you get the back end figured out, all you need to do is put on these nice side pipes and you're ready to roll. So Trevor, show us the parts next. All right, Danny, I'll show you the parts. So here we have our Corvette body, and this is very typical of the 1980 to 82 last generation series of Corvettes. There we've got our side scoop with the vents in there, just like the real thing. Our side marker lamps with the double lens on the side one there. And then we've got our doors, the nice Corvette emblem off the back. Again, very simplistic. The engine bay just has the inner wheel arches in there and a little firewall detail. The rest of this whole space is taken up by that turbo. You got the nice little flying Corvette wings right there. And overall, this is really great. A few mold marks here and there, but nothing really to be concerned about. And then of course our rear bumper is going to pop into these little holes. The interior goes into that slot or those slots. And then up front again, the holes. So very nicely proportioned and quite a good looking kit for something so basic. Here we have the remainder of the body panels and there's our nice Corvette hood for 1980. These were getting a lot more slick and flat. They no longer really had those uh, hood scoops or whatever in them. There's our front bumper and the rear end with Corvette written across it. There's our side mirrors and our T-tops. So bring these up into the camera a little bit. 
you can see just how great the detail is on this front grille. It's got the waffle pattern in there. And then off the back, there's our Corvette logo right in the center of this. Again, this is all molded in high impact, high gloss styrene. So if you want to paint this, you can always sand it down with some fine sandpaper. There's our hood. Now the vents are now underneath the hood. This goes all the way up to the front cowl. There are mold marks underneath and a part number which need to be sanded off just to make it smooth. There's our T-tops and our side mirrors. Underneath a couple little pins just to pop into the top of the car. So again, these parts are quite nice, but quite simple. Our next parts tree includes the chassis pan, the axles, our Goodyear GT radials, which look very much like monogram tires. Then we've got our front suspension here and our dashboard. So in these years, the Corvette dashboard kind of was more advanced than the earlier 70s ones. So they've captured that look pretty nice. There are some uh, marks in here. One says made in China and the other one says uh, 1980 Corvette in there. So you could always try to remove those or just leave them on if you want. The Goodyear tires are again quite nice and the tread and everything look very much like monogram ones. So overall this will look really good on your shelf. There are some mold marks underneath. You might want to investigate those, make sure they're not interfering with the fits of the parts. But overall, quite nice for what you get. Our next parts tree includes the interior bucket, the gigantic turbo motor, the rear axle and differential, our bucket seats, the steering wheel, and the wheel backs. So I know I have this sort of upside down, but we can take a better look at it. So there's our floor pan with the two large hatches in there, which were new in this era. And then up front we've got our... Actually, we don't have any floor pedals, but we do have the carpet in there and the center console. All these seats will click into those holes, as well as the bottom of the dashboard. There's our nice turbo motor. It looks like it's got a radiator kind of glued up onto the top, or molded onto the top, for cooling, of course. And then there's our rear axle, our bucket seats, steering wheel, and the wheel backs. Again, very simple, something you can make on a weekend, but should fill a void on your shelf. And here we have our aluminum components, which of course would have looked way better if they were chromed, but I guess testers did not want to do that. So there's our wheels. A little bit of a black paint wash down in here will make them look more like they're open. And then we've got our side exhaust dumps, as well as the shift lever and our rear license plate. So again, quite simplistic, but you need, do need wheels in order to keep your car on the road. And here we have our clear plastic components, which again have holes in them so that they can all link up on the body. There are two holes here on the clear glass tops. Those are for the T-tops to push into. And then we've got our four tail lights, which will need to be painted red. I do believe one's red and one's white with a red perimeter on it. Overall, really looking good. These are put in a plastic bag, so it saved it from scratches. But again, you need some windows in your car in order to see out, and here they are. I hope you found this video most triumphant in choosing your next model car. Now, as promised, here's a really cool model car video that you should check out next. And if you want to see what model cars I have for sale, check out this cool link over here. It'll take you right to our website, and don't forget to subscribe right down here. Well, I hope you can join us next time as we take a look at more of these amazing kits from the 1980s. And until next time, everyone, be excellent to each other.